We are Team No Name doing the convolutional neural net on an FPGA. The premise of our project is to accelerate the process of performing convolutional operations on an image along with its filter weights in order to decide what the image classification is. Whenever you're ready. One of the parts that we have implemented on FPZ is a tweaked version of AlexNet. AlexNet is pretty huge and it won't be able to fit on a Z-board type of FPZ. So what we have to do is first thing, we need to break the convolution layer. First there is a learn by learn filter, which won't be able to perform properly on FPZ. So we break this into two five by five. And accordingly we adjust, uh, adjust the number of stripes and stuff. And another thing that we need to tweak in the network is most of the uh, neural nets are trained on floating point 32 bit, and FPGA won't support that, so we had to bring it down to 16 bit fixed point conversion. To this end, we decided to go with the Z board because of its 220 DSPs. The goal of our project was to uh, get images from an SD card, load them into memory to be processed, and then uh, get the data into the DSPs and uh, data back out. Um, and the way that would happen is we would go through a, um, we would first process them into vectorized form um, before even loading it onto the SD card, and send it onto the SD card over Ethernet or something, uh, and then use it or use our C driver program, uh, which has been written to. Um, send that data to the FPGA. In the FPGA, it would uh, get onto the main memory of the image, which is in DDR3, and uh, in the main memory of the filters, which is in block RAM. Um, and then from there, we would uh, use the broadcast stages to send it super parallel to all of the DSPs that need that information. Uh, then we get the DSPs writing back to um, the output memory, and we can read the output memory from the driver and uh, use that as stages of further computation. Uh, that's how it's intended to go. This embedded Linux is very painful. Um, we tried five or six different builds, and only one of them booted at all. And the boot one would not read our SD card, possibly because of the SD card was too fast, possibly because of some other issues we don't know. Um, and so for that kind of issue, the Z board is not something that we could have used, even though we wanted to to have a full Linux operating system to use things like the driver, uh, libmath, libc, all of that stuff. Uh, so sadly, we cannot use the Z board, um, and we had to use the Spartan. After deciding to switch to the Spartan 6, we still have a workable demo. We were able to show that with the image input as a number and the filter also input as a number, we can get out the correct convolution. So right now we're putting in user input convolutions. We are loading an image right now. And that means the image is loaded. And now we're going to input the parameters for the filter. And now I'm putting in the filter. Okay, so now the next battle will go before you press any keys, so it's like the FPCHP is going to So the challenge here is that the FPCHP keeps And then we have output. Yay! Where we ended up falling short was the interface between the memory on the processor on the Z board and the programmable logic using AXI protocol. In order to finish the project as it stands now, we would have to configure an interface between the processor system and the programmable logic using AXI. Thank you.